Hello students. In this video, we will discuss about the topic of projections of lines. We will draw the question of projection of lines when the line is parallel to both the principal planes. We will draw it on the AutoCAD. Let us discuss the question. So the question says line AB 60 mm long has its end B 20 mm away from HP and 40 mm away from VP. The line is parallel to both the principal planes. Draw its projections in all the four quadrants. Right? So in this question, it is given the length of line is 60 mm. The true length is 60 mm. Right? So it is given the end B is 20 mm away from HP and 40 mm away from VP. Now in this, it is not given that it is 20 mm above HP or in front of VP, it is not given to us. Why? Because in the question it is given that you have to draw the projections in all the four quadrants. Right? So if it is the first quadrant, it is obvious that it will be above HP in front of VP. If it is second quadrant, it will be above HP behind VP. If it is third quadrant, it will be below HP behind VP. The fourth quadrant it is below HP in front of VP. So it is obvious that you have to draw in all the four quadrants. Okay. So let us start. So the end B is given to us. It is 20 mm away from HP and 40 mm away from VP. So you have to draw these in all the four quadrants. The distance from HP and VP remains the same. Right. So let us start. So we'll locate point B first. So let us draw it on AutoCAD. So first of all, let us draw a line of 80 mm. Let it be XY line of 80 mm. Select line command. So by direct distance entry, we will be drawing a line of 80 mm. Then let us increase the line weight for this. Make it 0 0.50 mm. Now it is 20 mm above HP. The line is 20 mm above HP and 40 mm in front of VP. So 20 mm above HP will be like this. Then 40 mm in front of VP will be drawing below the XY line. This is 40 mm. So I first of all, I locate point B. Okay. Then from point B, I will draw 60 mm this is the front view okay let us increase the line weight let us make it 1 mm okay now you copy this let us go to copy command take this as the object press enter select this as the base point paste it over here on the other end then you draw the projection lines again vertical projection lines like this right so let us now use multi-line text command and name the corners of the line so this will be the front view so it is a dash let us suppose let us change the font style also so this is a dash Let us copy it, control C, control V. This will be B dash. You can edit this by double clicking. Again, press control V. This is small a because this is the top view. 
again this is small b right control v this is capital x and this is capital y control v capital y right so now let us dimension it go to linear dimensioning so this is equal to 60 then again dimension linear this is 20 again dimension linear this is 40 right so this is the projection in the first quadrant so if i just name it over here this is the projection in the first quadrant let us write down first quadrant right let us name the point of intersection of the projection line and the xy line let us name it as a naught so here you write zero first and then you select this subscript option so it will become a naught let us write it inside the figure again control c control v this is b naught let us write v naught here right so this is the projection in the first quadrant right so now in the question it is given that you have to draw the projections in all the four quadrants that means the distance will remain the same distance from hp and vp will remain the same and you have to draw the projections in second third and fourth quadrants also right so what we will be doing in the second quadrant we know that hp rotates by 90 degree in the clockwise direction and it overlaps with vp so it overlaps with vp means it will overlap on the front view or you can say the top view will overlap with the front view right so figure will remain the same just this lower portion will be overlapping or you can say it will rotate this lower portion you know towards the up or you can say it will draw a mirror image of this okay so for this you first of all copy this figure go to copy command take this as the base point let us place it over here let us place it over here right now what we will be doing we will be just you know selecting this lower part ok we will be drawing a mirror image of this go to mirror command select this as the first point of mirror line select this as the second point of mirror line just click over here what is asking erase source object yes or no so I'll write yes, erase the source object, right? So this is the solution in the second quadrant. So here what you can do is just move this 40 mm towards the right so that it may not overlap on 20. So this is the solution in the second quadrant. So let us write down second quadrant. This is second quadrant. So rest will remain the same, no difference is there. For this the clarity of quadrant system should be there. Okay, then only you will be able to understand and do this. Let us draw it in the third quadrant. Now in the third quadrant what will happen? The figure that you have drawn in the first quadrant, you know you have to just take the mirror image of the whole figure. Okay, just take the mirror image of the whole figure. 
So let us first of all copy this. Control C, Control V. Let us place it over here. Or you can use copy command also. Let us place it over here. Now next is what you need to do is you just select this whole figure. Select the whole figure. Go to mirror command. This is the mirror command. Okay. Select the first point of mirror line. This is the first point of mirror line. And this is the second point of the mirror line. Click over here. Okay. You get the mirror image of this uh, figure that you have drawn in the first quadrant and you can erase the source object yes i want to erase the source object so this is the solution in the third quadrant it is very easy you just need to take the mirror image okay and the concept of quadrant system should be clear to you so that you may be able to rotate these right so this is the solution in the third quadrant let us name it uh, let us just move it somewhat downwards let us move this downward control c control v this is the solution in the third quadrant the next is you have to draw it in the fourth quadrant also so in the fourth quadrant it will be the mirror image of the one you had drawn in the second quadrant exactly the mirror image so you will copy this whole figure let us copy it control c or you can just go to copy command take this as the base point let us place it over here okay now select the whole figure let us select the whole figure now go to mirror command Take this as the first point of mirror line. Take this as the second point of mirror line. Right. Erase source object. Yes, you need to erase the source object. Click over here. Right. So this is the solution in the fourth quadrant. Let us just write down. Control C, Control V. So this is the solution in the fourth quadrant. right so this is it this is the solution of the whole question so you have to draw it in all the four quadrants so these are the projections in first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant let us just move this close to the figures so i suppose this is clear to you so this is the solution in the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and the fourth quadrant right thank you very much